Who likes being in pain and not making gains? Here are three key factors that will determine your success in avoiding injuries and progressing effectively towards your goals. I'm the fitness philosopher and I hope you enjoy the video. Proper recovery fuels the body to adapt and grow effectively. Have you heard the story of the two lumberjacks? It goes like this. There are two lumberjacks. One's in his 60s and one's a young apprentice in his 20s. They both have the same amount of trees to cut each day. They've got to hit that quota. The old man works four hours in the morning, takes an hour lunch, and works three hours in the evening. The young man is stronger and faster, works all day through his lunch, yet the old man still outpaces him, he finishes his quota, he cuts his trees for the day before the young man. Finally the young man swallows his pride and he asks the old man how he finishes before him every single day. The old man just says, when I take that hour lunch break, I spend a few minutes sharpening my axe. Think about it like this, proper recovery, that means eating the right things, dialing in your nutrition, staying hydrated, getting enough sleep, that's what's going to help you progress. If you just train hard and you neglect your recovery, that's like trying to chop down a forest with a dull axe. Another key factor in determining your success, in progressing effectively and avoiding injuries is being realistic in the ability to avoid rushing your progressions. Patience is a virtue. A river cuts through rock not because of its power. A river cuts through rock because of its persistence. I understand that it's not sexy, but discipline, and consistency, and time are your greatest asset also your greatest liability because if you only work out when you feel motivated well then you're setting yourself up for failure discipline will take you places where your motivation can't with that being said let me be clear about what discipline is not discipline is not showing up every day with the highest intensity and training until you physically can't Discipline is understanding that each day is different and that you have to manipulate the intensity of your workout according to how well you've slept, how much water you've drank, how much food you've eaten, and how you've managed your stress for that day. Focus on the fundamentals. Practice control over each exercise through a full range of motion and develop a mastery of the mind-muscle connection. A majority of the injuries that I've experienced over nearly a decade of training have been a direct result of me rushing through repetitions. One of my favorite quotes from my father is that repetition breeds a false sense of security. A majority of the injuries that I've suffered from have been a direct result of my inability to practice control. Nowadays, I make it a priority to focus on my breathing and bracing and controlling every aspect of each exercise. The only surgeries I've had, which I've had a shoulder and a knee surgery, have been a direct result of me just being a dumbass. There's no real way to put it other than that. Plain and simple, I was rushing weight, I was rushing through the reps, I wasn't mindful, I wasn't present. This is something I want you to avoid. If I can give you some advice and hopefully save you some pain and uh, help you progress faster, that's what I'm here for. Just be mindful. Be honest with yourself about where you are in relation to where you'd like to be. Health is wealth. Hold yourself accountable. Be realistic and hardworking. Seek out discomfort. And try and maintain composure through all of this. Seek improvement on a daily basis and build a tolerance to the struggles of life. Because pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. If we can callous not only our hands, but also our head, we can focus when things get tough. 
that's the whole point of training it's not just to have big muscles it's to be willing to endure thank you for watching i'm the fitness philosopher and i appreciate your support